How is feminist leadership different than any other leadership that you've experienced? I think I've, I've never had a space where like I've been invested in and I think time and effort and energy has been dedicated to my well-being and my professional development the same way I have, like specifically in the IWL. And I think that's something that I'm honestly going to take with me for the rest of my life because I don't know, before that, like before that, there was no, I don't know, there was no actual like focus on how my specific identity impacts the way in which I, I walk through the world. And I think that's exactly why feminist leadership and feminist teachings matter because it gives us a space to to have our education really hone in on, on our own identities. And that matters because those identities are what we're taking on as the world. And those identities are what stops us from being successful or being you know, not successful and so on. So I think it's imperative. I think feminist leadership has this critical lens that undoes a lot of the things we overlook normally. Like there are so many like structures that are hidden and normalized that we don't really give a second thought to. And that's what's really like keeping the sort of like oppressive, oppressive structures like mm-hmm. embedded in. And the feminist leadership like lens really undoes that, like calls everything to question. And you really got to think like, what have I been doing or what's been happening that um, has is actually like reinforcing like the patriarchy and like white supremacy. And so it's like an important way to look at things. The biggest part of feminist leadership for me has been understanding power and who has power and how power is conveyed. We spent a lot of time in class talking about that. And it's really makes you think of what kind of what um, Maria was saying, who's making decisions, whose voices are we hearing the most often? Because there are things happening within New Jersey and New York, United States, but also around the globe of women who don't have access to the same um, materials that all other women do. And so understanding who's really controlling the narrative and how can we move past that and really give voices to those who don't have them. But also feminist leadership really prioritizes mentorship and transformational leadership, not transactional and continued relationships, which is imperative to how you navigate the world because if every relationship is just this is what you do for me, this is what I do for you, and you move on, what have you truly learned? I feel like the emphasis on, like we have the second year mentor, first year mentor um, pairings that happen, that sense of continued support makes a difference on how people navigate the world, but also choose to help others. Um, I just wanted to add that it's really important to remember that women in power doesn't necessarily translate to feminist leadership like not all women are our friends like just because just because they identify as a woman does not mean that they're going to be carrying our struggle on their backs um so i I think really emphasizing what you were saying about like transformational leadership Mm -hmm. and also like uplifting one another like the whole um glass ceiling analogy like sure you can break through it but you have to like help other people get up um so it's not enough just to do well like you have to help other people do well and i think that's the importance of um feminist leadership and you have to be be there for one another so and then undo what you don't like right like literally we, we have the tools that we're learning about all this we have the energy and the passion and the drive to do it so why not anybody but us to right. go in and change these systems that have not been benefiting not just women people non-gender identifying like people who don't conform to the stereotypical like view of society like collectivizing and really prioritizing child care prioritizing like what it is that matters to a solid portion of the world population Mm -hmm. um and working together like be like you know this is the world we want to see